Art time. Art time with Mrs. Reed. We will be making words with Zentangle designs in the background. To start, you'll need to make some bubble letters. If you're not sure how to make bubble letters, you could just write the letter the way you normally would with simple lines and then trace the shape around those letters. If the letters have a hole, like the A or the B, make sure that you also trace another shape inside the hole of the letter. And then you'll erase that line that you drew first, which is kind of like the skeleton of the letter. When you're done erasing, you'll be filling up Zentangle designs and patterns in the space outside of your letters. Zentangle is a drawing exercise that is supposed to make you feel calm or zen or peaceful. You're not trying to draw anything in particular, you're just doodling whatever you think will look good. Now I'm switching to marker because when you Zentangle, you don't want to erase any mistakes. With Zentangling, even if you make a mistake, you want to try to think of a way to improve it. So here I'm starting to fill in the negative space, the holes of the letter B, with just some different types of lines that I think will look good. Crisscross lines, spiral lines. There's no wrong way to Zentangle, really. You're just drawing whatever you think will look nice. Now the rest of the background, or negative space, is a really, really, really big space. So I like to break it up into sections by drawing lines coming from the letters to the edge of the paper. And that'll give me some smaller sections to put my Zentangle designs. And again, you can draw whatever you feel like drawing. Think of different lines and shapes that you enjoy drawing and try to fill up the whole section with that design. And if you get bored working in one section, you can just move somewhere else and come back to it later. So it's okay to jump around the space of your paper a little bit. If you're not really sure what to draw, you could use some of my ideas that I'm showing you now, or you could even look around your room for some ideas. Our blankets, our clothes, pictures on the wall usually have lots of patterns in them that can be inspirational for you coming up with your own pattern design. The one I'm drawing right now actually reminds me of the texture on a dodgeball if you ever looked at one really up close. Really the only wrong way to Zentangle is just to scribble scrabble. Right now I'm doing a slow motion scribble scrabble, which is the only okay way to scribble during Zentangle. What I do is I just put down my marker and I don't pick it up until I feel like the space looks awesome. And then I start filling in certain shapes that I've created um, by coloring in with the marker to darken up some areas. You might be wondering, should I put some Zentangles inside my bubble letters? I wouldn't recommend that simply because if you put patterns inside your letters and there's also patterns outside your letters, it can make your letters a little bit hard to see or they'll kind of camouflage. So I would leave them just blank, but if you really, really, really wanna put some extra Zentangles on your paper, you could always switch to a different color marker, like maybe a lighter color marker if you started with a dark color marker. Um, that way, if you have a different color inside your letters, uh, your letters will still be able to stand out. You can see an example of how I did that with this Zentangle drawing with the light pink marker inside the letters. Now you can tell I spent way more time on this drawing. Each section has been filled in, but I'm also going back and making improvements to each section. Uh, with Zentangling, or actually all art, the more time and effort you spend on something, the cooler it's going to look. So don't be afraid about going back and making those improvements.